these two rivals face a similar challenge, disqualification. Senator Grace Poe admits Davao Mayor City Rodrigo Duterte's entry in the presidential race will affect her and other candidates' chances. But Poe remains magnanimous. She says Duterte should be allowed to run for president in 2016. Poe cites the case of her father, the late action star Fernando Poe Jr., who, like her, faced a similar disqualification case over citizenship issues in 2004. Poe cites the Supreme Court decision on her father's case and says only the people have the right to decide. A recent privately commissioned Pulse Asia survey shows Duterte as the top presidential choice in Metro Manila. Poe, on the other hand, has been consistently leading in nationwide surveys. Wala tayong dapat maliitin o dito sa sa pagtakbo na ito. We should not take anybody for granted. Lahat po apektado sa chances of winning or losing lahat po yan. Dahil nga numbers yan eh. Diba? So pag may sasama kang iba, mas mahahate sa lahat ang mga boto. A week after the Senate Electoral Tribunal decided in her favor, Poe running mate Cheese Escudero and three other senatorial candidates made rounds in Lipa City in Batangas. Batangas is one of the vote-rich provinces in the Philippines with at least 1.4 million voters. Poe also visits Lucena City in Quezon with more than 1 million voters. In 2013, Poe ranked first in both provinces while Escudero ranked second in Batangas and third in Quezon. In both provinces, Poe makes sure she gets her message across that she's qualified to run for president and is a true blue Filipino. Camila Lamia, Rappler, Batangas.